Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm going bananas for data flows. Patrick, Patrick, why have you waited so long to talk about data flows? I saw you did a video with Matthews, but we want more, All right? And so in this Two Minute Tuesday, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You guys know this is gonna be longer than two minutes. Look at the timer below, all right? So it's gonna be a little longer Two Minute Tuesday, right? So. We did a live stream recently and there were so many questions about what can you do in data flows within the, in the Power Query editor? Can you copy? Can you use native queries? Can you do this? So I decided to do a video on it. And so instead of all this talking, since this is Two Minute Tuesday, you guys know I like to do, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. I started building out my data flow and I brought in, uh, I imported one table. And the, f the next thing I wanted to do was I had went through a lot of painstaking effort to build out this function that when I invoke it will create a calendar for me. And I wanted to pull the calendar and all of the dependent, the dependent objects, right? So this calendar depends on this function and this function depends on these parameters. And so I wanted to pull all this information. And so I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The first thing I did was copy one, paste copy one, paste. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is Power Query. I did a video recently talking about copying queries from one PBIX to another PBIX or even copying it up to Excel. It's got to work in data flows, right? But the bigger question is, will it copy all the dependent objects? All right, so let's see. The first thing I did was I clicked on calendar because calendar had the entire lineage, right? Calendar depends on the function. The function depends on these um, these parameters. So I right click on calendar, chose copy, head it back over here, and I right click and I chose paste. And I got a little warning that says, hey Patrick, you need to use control V. I'm like, okay, I know how to do that. So we'll go control V and bam, it copied everything. It, it pulled the whole, everything that that calendar depended on and went from calendar to the function to the parameters. Oof, mind blown, this was great. I was like, all right, nice. But then I looked at it and I was like, well, I need the folders. Hmm. All right. So pro tip, don't try to copy and paste over and over again. All right. Um, what you want to do, if you want to pull that folder structure over, let's see if a control Z will work. Control Z won't work. That's all right. So what I'm going to do is uh, cancel this. I'm not going to save it. And then I'm going to come back. And the reason I did that is you got to save, even if I deleted them individually um, and then tried to paste it again, they still logically exist until you actually hit save and close. All right. So I just saved it. Didn't I didn't save it. And now I'm back in and you can see that there's nothing there. Right. So now I'm going to go back. And what I want to do is I want to copy my folder structure. So I click on that folder, hold down control, click that folder and choose copy. Head back over to Power Query, control V. And bam, look at that. It brought my folder structures and all of my objects. Man, this is actually pretty nice. This is actually pretty nice. I'm impressed with how the Power Query Online is really getting synced up with all the stuff you can do in the desktop, all right? So that was the first thing I had to challenge. I needed to make sure I pulled all the dependent objects. That was great. The next thing was a little different. So check this out. So in data flows, so I, uh, I went to a SQL Server database and then I click next. And there's something that was missing. And I was like, wait, I, what if I wanna enter a native query? And there's no option. So if you go back to the desktop, if you do the exact same thing, right? If I go SQL Server, type in my credentials, you'll get this, <clears throat> you get this advanced option box where you can type in your query, right? You can't do that in data flows. And it's like, hmm, well, so then I had an idea. What I did was I went into Power Query and I actually did it, right? I imported using the native query. So if you look in the advanced editor, you can see, right, I'm connecting to this database and I specified a query for both of these. And what I did was, I actually, I'm gonna show you, right? The first thing I did was I went into the advanced editor, 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 editor copied the M, and then I went back over the data flows. I know what you guys are thinking. What are you doing, Patrick? So it's okay, hang on, bear with me, get data, blank query. Yes, I did. And I pasted the code and I was about to click next. And I said, wait, 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 wait. That's not very efficient, Patrick. And you always talk about how efficient you are. So, so I stopped and I went back and let me show you. So I hit cancel. Right. And then I went back over to the desktop and I said, why not just do this? Right. Copy both of those folders. 
hit over to Power Query, my data flow, Control V, boom. Let's move this. Look at all that functionality. We'll move this to our dimensions and look at that. There's my native query running directly inside of, of uh, data flows. Now, my native query, which you can't do right using the graphical user interface, but by doing a little copy paste action from the desktop to data flows, it definitely works. There's a great website where they talk about other data sources that you can do this for. There's data sources when you go to the graphical user interface, they don't appear in the list but they are actually supported. They're just not supported from a UX perspective. If you read this blog post, it provides you with a nice list of those data sources where you can copy and paste from Power BI Desktop into the Power Query Online, and it will absolutely work. What do you guys think? Are you using this today? Do you have any questions, comments? You know what to do. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.